Did you know that a simple wishlist feature can increase your WooCommerce sales without even running ads? So today in this tutorial, I will show you how you can add a wishlist feature to your WooCommerce store in WordPress. By adding a wishlist feature on your WooCommerce store, you can easily improve your customer shopping experience and the setup process is quite easy. Just follow the simple steps as shown in this video. And if you found this type of WooCommerce tutorials helpful, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel. So let's get started. First, let's check how this wishlist feature work and later I will show you how you can set up this on your WooCommerce store. So as you can see, let me go to the shop page here. And here you will see an option like save to wishlist like this. So either you can display icon or you can display icon along with text and you can add the wishlist button here in the left side or right side or you can display only the icon or you can add wishlist after the add to cart button. So you have multiple options to display the wishlist button. So let me click on save to wishlist. Now it will redirect me to the wishlist page and you can manage all of your wishlist here. And here you can remove this product from wishlist as well or you can view this product from here. And let's click on this product and user can save this in a different wishlist. So you can click on here first wishlist and here you can see all these wishlist option. You can add a new wishlist. So let me set like my favorite product and let me click on create. Now we have created a new wishlist. If I go to shop page and hover over this, you can select all these options. So let me set it to my favorite product. Now it will add it to the my favorite product and here you can filter all these options. So this is my favorite product fast wishlist. So you can categorize your wishlist as well and you can see all the product within that wishlist like this and you can also access the wishlist from your my account page. So let me go to my account and here you will see this wishlist button and once you click that it will redirect to the wishlist page. So the setup process is quite simple. All you have to do is just go to your dashboard and just go to plugins and click on add new. And you need to search for a plugin like this, save to wishlist light WooCommerce wishlist. So let me simply search for this plugin, save to wishlist light. Now you need to install and activate this plugin. So I have already installed the plugin. So after you install the plugin, you will see a option save to wishlist. Just click on that. And here you can see all the wishlist options and just click on settings. And here you can see all the settings of this plugin. First option is add card products to wishlist. So if you have added a product to your cart, then you can move that product to wishlist. And if, you're, if you have added a product from the wishlist, to the cart then it will be automatically removed from the wishlist so you have all these options and you can also set the wishlist action so if a product is set to wishlist then you can redirect the user to wishlist page and you can also set add to wishlist button action so you can redirect or you can display pop-up as well now let's click on wishlist page and here you can set the wishlist title so let me click on widget site Let's go to my account and let's click on wishlist. So we can directly add this to your menu. So let me quickly add that. So let's go to menu. And here I will select the wishlist page to add to menu and I will add it under the my account tab and let me hit save menu. Now let's go to the front end and here you can access your wishlist page. So you can see my wishlist manage your wishlist here. So you can change all these titles from here in the settings. So you can change the wishlist title here and you can change the description as well. And you can also disable wishlist in my account if you want, then you can disable this option so that it will not show in the my account page. And you can also allow multiple wishlist. So you have all these options. Now you can enable guest wishlist or you can disable it so user have to create an account before they can add the product to his list so if you disable this one then then user have to create an account before adding that product to his list 
and you have the button placement and styles so here you can change the wishlist position in different pages here this one is for product page and then you have the shop page and then you have the cart page so in shop page i want it on the top left of the product image and here you can set the button style whether you want to display a text with icon or if you want to display icon only so if i select icon only then this icon will only show up here and icon and text then this is how it will show icon and text pill and solid icon so let me select this to solid icon so let's go to the shop page and here you can see save to wish list and the icon is showing so if i click on this settings and let's refresh the shop page then the icon is now changed so you can set in in the left section or right section so in right section we have already the sale icon so we need to place the icon which list icon in the left section so you have all the options so this is the settings for shop page so you can add the wish list below the product title or above the add to cart button or below the add to cart button now you can change this on product page below the add to cart button or top left of the product image and you can change all these options like button icon color button border width hover icons hover color so all these options are there so let's click on save settings now let's click on the product now you can see you will see the wish list icon here so here in the product page options so you can display it on the top left or top right and you can change the button type so let me change it to solid icon or you can see you have minimal icon or like this so let me set the solid icon option and hit save changes now earlier it is set to left now if i refresh this page then it is moved to the right section so right section we have already a search icon so we need to set this in the left section as well so let's go to the product page and we can display it on the left side so i will set top left of the product image so in this way you can set the wishlist icon in different places on different pages so you can display the wishlist in your product page shop page and if you click on add to cart then the same wish list will show in view card option as well you can see save card to wish list so all the product in the card will be now saved to wish list so here you can display wish list on different pages using this free plugin which is save to wish list light so i will include the plugin link in the description just download the plugin and install the plugin on your woocommerce store and a wishlist feature will be automatically added to your website so let me know if you face any issue during the setup process and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button thank you